Hey guys, today um, I'm going to show you how to tone um, blonde hair, um, mostly to get rid of brassy tones and orangey, um, kind of more yellowy tones, which is what my hair is right now. Um, so obviously depending on how yellow or how brassy your hair is or how ashy or cool you like your results to be, um, I have two toners today that um, I will be, I guess, talking about, and um, I mean, I'd like to know your opinion and what you guys prefer, but I'm using the Wella, the Wella toners, and I have T18 and T11. T11 comes from the more, like, neutral, and it's, um, what's it called? Um, it's like a beige blonde, and then this one is lightest ash blonde, so... I guess if you feel that your hair is very ashy, you would use the lightest ash um, toner because you want to bring more blonde, I mean more blue tones to the hair. So um, this one, I actually, the color that it comes out to be is really like a soft, like oatmeal, a sandy blonde color. Um, I want to cancel out as much of the brassy tones today, so I'm going to be using the T18 Wella. The one with Wella, um, and I've made this mistake before, <laughs> and um, it does uh, deposit a lot of the ashy blue tones, so what you have to do is you have to use double the developer and use 20 volume and not 10. So, um, so what you do is one part, uh, one part color or toner and two parts the developer. Uh, I'm using this Ion Sensitive Scalp. Um, it smells really nice. It's like kind of like a berry smell, which is nice because. Um, like green apple and berries um, because toner never smells nice but this one does and it's sensitive scalp it's only 20 volume so it shouldn't be you know uh, bad on your scalp anyway but some people do are more sensitive than others and even their 40 volume sensitive scalp is really nice so anyway so I will be using a half ounce of toner and one ounce of developer um, so that's, I mean, that's enough for me. Obviously, if you have long hair or thicker hair, you would probably use one ounce of this and then two ounces of the developer. And then you just mix it in a bowl and use a brush. And you just apply it all over the hair. Um, even if you have low lights, it, you're kind of toning everything out. And given that you are using a 20 volume and you were like doubling up the, um, the developer um, ratio, it will have some lightning effects. So the good part is, say you have, you know, like an eighth of an inch root or something, it does kind of lighten it and kind of soften it, but not a lot. And the fact that there is a toner in it, it won't be like warm or grassy. So you're, it's kind of like a, um, an even uh, lift already. So anyway, so I'll just mix and apply and I'll show you the results. All right. Hey guys, so I just toned uh, my hair using the Wella toner. I just uh, rinsed out and shampooed and conditioned, and this is the result. So no more brassy and ashy, I mean no more brassy and gold tones. Um, it's not too ashy either, I think it's kind of like a just natural color. So what I ended up doing actually is I mixed the two toners that I showed you in the beginning. Uh, I felt that one was probably going to be too ashy and blue and the other one might be just too sandy, so I mixed equal parts of the toner and, of course, the two parts um, of the developer. So this is the result. Um, let me know what you think, and um, or if you have any other suggestions for any other toners you use to tone out uh, blondes. All right, I uh, hope this was informative. See you in the next video. Bye.